Welcome back to another Time Spiral Planar Chaos Future Site Draft here on uh, Warhammer40k.net. I'm your host, Tim and Eric. Great show, awesome job. Here with the Eric Andre Show. That was quite the intro. I just want to be realistic with these people. What are we, what are we picking here in this first pick? Elspeth. Really? Really? Or Derogatory Spear. Or Spear of Heliod. No, that's terrible. Okay, well, I tried. What if we just take the most random picks? What if we just take random stuff? Like, I'll take this... I'll take Journey... No, that's actually... I think Spear of Heliod is probably the worst worst card in this pack, to be so honest. So you want our stipulation to be pick the worst card in the pack? Yeah, but just, like, as a goof, you know? I don't know who that's it's, goofing it's on. It's your though. moto, Bucks. If you want to pick the worst <laughs> card in the pack, I am down. I guess it's just Elspeth. This pack is pretty good. I hope this Ajani comes back and we can play both of these. We can play uh, both friends, both them, as oh. you might say. Both them, friends. This is a good. This is a good pick for Chicken Sunday, I think, too. So. Yeah. It's Chicken Sunday. Oh, Immortal Sun, Planeswalker. <laughs> Immortal Sun, Planeswalker. Immortal Sun's pretty good. It's real good. Hunter. He always, why does he, he starts licking as soon as we start streaming. I don't understand. He hasn't licked all day. God. I like Disallow. I'll be honest with you. We did a, we did a green, a red, blue a draft earlier today. We went 3-0 because if you just draft all the good blue cards, you can't lose. That's pretty much what it comes down to. You Sounds just, like a plan. You just want all these counter spells. All right. Oh, this is the Immortal Sun. And she's the sun's champion. So why can't she use her own damn abilities when this is in play? Maybe it's a different sun she's the champion of. Huh. Oh, I like Obnixilis reignited. I'll be Esper. Reignited and it feels so good. That was beautiful. God, that was amazing. My voice cracked a little bit. Yeah, but I just think that's because you're growing up, you know? It's because you're getting older. Oh, Staff of Nin. There you go. That's like that's like the uh, that's an that's an immortal sun that we can actually use. There's also a Restoration Angel and a Sower of Temptation in here. This pack is real good. Staff of Nin is really good. I know, right? It does draw two cards on it every turn. Yeah, I'm gonna take Staff of Nin. It's also colorless. So, you know, if we don't end up in one of these three Draft colors. blue, eat flavored crust, be a winner. Hmm. Hungry Howie Bot coming through. Even Hungry Howie Bot knows the power of blue. Coming, come, Howie, Hungry Howie Bot coming with the hot hits. The hot hits? I don't know what that means, but you you get it. Hey, just watching your server, you pause to join the stream. I appreciate that. I like it when you have to pause one form of Frank content for another form of Frank content. That's good. That's good brand. That's good marketing right there, I think. Or bad marketing because it's too much overlap, but I don't know. I just play Magic the Gathering and games for a living, so it's either Archangel or, or I don't know what, man. Oh, it's definitely Jinx. Cloak. How about Golgari Signet, and we can try to be Abzan, and then we can finally play. I'm taking this. Cut the blue. I mean, blue's getting cut pretty hard. It seems like actually, I agree with so. you. I like the idea of playing Siege Rhino because we always, I always end up getting past Siege Rhino. And I have yet to play it. In before, this is the one time we will not open Siege Rhino. I guarantee we won't. <laughs> I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I'm going to take this Godless Shrine. Oh, Woodland Cemetery? It's all coming together, man. There's a murderous cut, though. You might say it's murder. It's uh, murder us cut. Glad you guys could all be here with us for Chicken Sunday. Everyone's favorite day of the year. Or any day of the year. Any day is Chicken Sunday. Matter. You pick. Is it Woodland Cemetery or is it Murderous Cut? We don't have any green cards yet, so I guess we can just Probably take cut. Yeah, we'll just take the cut. Yo, look at this. Look at this doo-doo pack. Even if we... like, This is terrible. Korok Master, I guess? I don't know. I was thinking Lawkeeper, probably. I guess it's slightly better. Terastodon? Ugh. 
Nah. We ain't that deck. <laughs> I ain't trying to live that turret. Is Mike the sentient collector of your stream viewer base? Was he born or did you close stream one night to find him on your porch? Oh, these are the good questions you're asking right now. I can't answer them, unfortunately. Oh, a Johnny came back. That's gas. He did come back. He welcomes you with open arms. Oh, Master of the Wild Hunt? And a Scattered Grove? Oh. Now this this Abzan deck is coming together. I'd probably just take Scattered Grove. Yeah, I think so too. I feel like Master is pretty replaceable. I never even knew about Frank, but at the end of one game on MTGO, some guy was like, and you were made famous by Frank <laughs> All right, well, here we go. I, I, and I was just like, who the who is that? Google him. Wow, that's awesome. I love it. I am okay with it. I like Amiria here. Because everything else is pretty bad. I like Amiria because we can put counters on our little birds. The Shuri 3 1 1 counters on one, two, or three creatures you control. That's pretty good. Little birdies. And you look at the top four cards. You reveal an aura creature or planeswalker from among them put in your hand. So plus one just draws you cards. And good lord, if we can actually get to 100 life here, I'm going to be. Also known as Lil Floaty. Yeah, that's Lil, that's Lil Floaty. <laughs> Oh, crying out loud. Is it City or is it Angel? It's got to be City. I hate City Brass. Or Angel, rather. I hate City Brass. But we're not playing Angel either because it's triple white. You're right. Uh, that's fine. Card's playable. Destroy a creature with power 4 or greater. Yeah, I think this card is, is actually playable. <gasps> Whoa, this card is great. Whisper Elemental is always really good. I don't know why it, it goes so late. People, Nobody likes rain. People don't appreciate the Whisperwood. I was born in the Whisperwood. Did you know that? It was Big Floaty? Um, My dad. That's a good question. My dad. Yeah, another perfect pack for us. I think it's Solemn Simulacrum. This is not exciting. Thank you. Metal Duck Knight. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Oh, a tier two sub. What? I don't know what that means. That's a good sub. What a metal, what a crazy metal duck knight you are. Did you just get Solemn Simulacrum? Sure. Is that it though? Or is it, is it Damnation? Um, we kind of are Damnation. We then. kind of are. We have like three Planeswalkers. We don't have any early creatures. You get out of here. Nobody wants you around. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was mean. God, that was so rude, right? Man, that was so rude. Get away from me. Gideon Lawkeeper. You're just trying to keep the take peace. Actually, I do like this ramping to six though. Yeah, I'm going to take this. I bet we can get another Day of Judgment effect. I also wouldn't be surprised if Damnation Tables. I wouldn't either. It's one of those cards where you're always like, oh, God, I hope they don't have a Damnation. Right, but not in this cube so much, because then you're like, all right, Obnixil is El Elspeth, go. You have Damnation? Okay, I'll just make three more guys next turn. I'll give them all counters. Now they're six, six powers. These. Look, see, there's another Day of Judgment effect. There's like a million versions of that card. A million versions of you. I designed all of them. Okay. Porque. Uh, Mindstone? Stirring Wildwood? Day of Judgment? This is the OG Day of Judgment effect. This is where da all Day of Judgment effects came from. Close. Nailed it. Let's pick here. I actually kind of like Day of Judgment. Do you? Mm -hmm. You like the Day of Judgment effect? Mm-hmm. The Doge. I actually kind of do too. I'll be honest with you. You know what? I'll be on. You know what? I'll be honest with you. I do As too. As opposed to the most of the time, you're just like, yeah, I guess I'll pick it. Most I of the hate time, it. I'm most of the time, I just make stuff up with you. Right. You don't even know my real name. Is it Turtle? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely Marsh Flats. I was going. I was thinking of Voice of Resurgence, but I like Marsh Flats. We're going to be that Abzan control deck. We're on that Abzan control tip, as the kids say. I've never... Ooh, Nissa. It is Nissa, right? It's not Kitchen Finkos? Nah. I'm okay. Hey, what's that? Shriekmaw and Virtuous Gearhulk? Virtuous Gearhulk. We've got a bunch of fives already, so... Gearhulk table. Oh, is this good? Not in our deck. Well, let's see how many creatures we have. Four? Mm-hmm. Checks out. Not not good. You don't want a tooth and nail for Solemn Simulacrum and uh, a Myria Angel? 
Hmm. You're lost, nerd. I guess it's just Thrun. I, I, Thrun is just fine. We can even regenerate Thrun because it's Day of Judgment, not Wrath of God. So, Ooh, the technology. Pluto Delta does hit Godless Shrine, but I'm not going to run a blue-black fetch land in my, in my Abzan deck because of that. Isolated Chapel. Otherwise known as Isolated Chappie. Quarantine Field. I like Chappie. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, fetid. Oh, we did it. Nailed it. Oh, we actually got there. There he is. There's the old dirty rhino. Yeah, we're just going to play this guy. Why is he dirty? Because he's a rhinoceros. <laughs> Seriously? I really want Maelstrom Pulse, but I also really want Windswept Teeth. What do I do? What does Windswept Teeth get? Hi, uh, Michael. I'm a longtime listener, first time caller. Uh, I have a I have a fetch land in my pack. It's a Windswept Teeth, and I really I really want the fetch land, but I also really want the removal spell, which is a Maelstrom Pulse. What do I What do I do? I think we take the pulse. Okay, I'll take the Maelstrom Pulse. Good, good choice. Good choice. I don't think we're really hurting for mana right now. Pulse does everything. It kills Planeswalkers, so that's really all I care about. Um, Angel of Sanctions is very good. No, Splash Bolas. Okay. I, <laughs> okay. Wait, let's slow down. Could also be Mana Confluence. I actually think Mana Confluence is fine. I like that card. Surprised you like it. Oh, look, I also did a lull. I did my own lull. I see that one. Oh, okay. Wait, which one? Mana Confluence? Yeah. I've come to realize that you don't actually lose that much life. You just don't tap it that far. Yeah, and also we have a Johnny and to gain us 100 life, so that should be fine. <laughs> yeah, we just never. Who cares debate. about Mana Confluence? You just gain 100 life casually. Yeah, no I don't problem. know what, what... Oh, all right. Now we're That's talking. Nice. Now we're talking. That's nice. Oh, what? All the things we wanted to come back. Okay. Yeah, that guy's okay. This guy's 100% playable. What are you going to do? Cast something on my turn? Probably not. The only thing that's awkward about him is like we don't have a lot of creatures to support him, so when he dies, it's going to be like a 1-1 one -one <laughs> a lot of times. That's two blocks. Whatever. You know what else is good? Cheese. Agreed. I agree with you. Cheese is good. The deck looks pretty cool. I actually kind of like it. It's it's unlike any other deck that we've played before, I think, too. Ooh, we're just Gear Hulk. Could take Evolving Wilds, but I don't care about that. I also think Gaze of Granite's real bad because, like... It's way too expensive. Well, it's also black-green, and, like, black-green is, like, the Planeswalker color. So, like, you're just forced to kill all your own Planeswalkers if you want to use it effectively. Oh, I'll take a... Uh... I think Nest Invader is better. We have a ton of fixing right now, so. A little nesty. Yeah, that's a little nesty. What was the other card you said? A little floaty. Oh, yeah, a little floaty. That's right. It's your boy, little floaty here. Orzhov Signet. Man, when you're excited to open that. Um, I think I'm excited because we, we want to ramp to four and five more than anything else. Yeah, it's probably the best card in the pack. I think Bitter Blossom is like great. Downfall. I like Downfall, too. Utopia Sprawl. How many forests do you think we're going to play, buddy? There's absolutely no Utopia Sprawl. The green is like our least represented. Well, I guess I guess black is, but... Oh, Verdant Catacombs. Sprawl is only forest, right? You yeah, you have to forest. literally put on forest. Sort by color. Pretty even. I like Path, but I also like Verdant Catacombs. Path is probably not coming back here. Path is too good. Gu guys, we're playing Day of Judgment. <laughs> we're not going to be taking Mana Accelerants to accelerate into our Day of Judgment. We're playing like a control deck. It's Abzan Control. Which is why most of our creatures start at 3 and Nissa can flip. Nissa I does that flip technology. She real good. Is it Catacomb or is it Path? I think it's Path. I like Path. Oh, it's it's your boy. That's pretty perfect. Karn Liberated, though. Yeah, I don't think it's even close. 
Cesaru, uh, 200 bits. It is not what? There's nothing else in the pack, really. No, I'd take Reclamation Sage or Beast within, but I think we have Carnage is what you want. That's another dude I'm very okay with right here. Yep, solid duder. Done. Oh, I like this guy. Yep, yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, that seems great. All right, this is 23 cards. Our deck is done. Mm -hmm. You think we can still get Tron? Tron? Yeah. The movie? No, the lands. Oh, for Karn? Yeah. Yeah, there's still time. Take a mirror angel out. I'll play I'll play a Soren over. Let me look into those bits again, see if they've updated anything. This deck looks great. You go there. You're like more of a 30 drop. Stare into the bits. They may give you wisdom. I called your mom a bits the other night. Wow. That's messed up, dude. I know. You're right, I'm sorry. Oh, a brush land. Yeah, seems good. Yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, this is one of my favorite planeswalkers. You're real excited about it. I was. I feel like this is even reasonable to splash because we have three of these guys and Splashing our colors. I mean, oh, God, I don't know why I said splash. Yeah, man, we really have to splash the... We just take it, right? It's 100%. Nothing else in the pack as far as I'm concerned. Ooh, Temple Garden. That's nice. Yeah, that's real nice, actually. All right, well, this deck is OP right now. So, bits. So, this is what's supposed to show up with the bits, but it does not. Hmm. It's unfortunate. Ambitions call it? Read the Bones. Actually, I like Read the Bones a lot. Yeah. So now we need two cuts. I think we can cut Thrun from the main deck. We'll just board that dude in. He's also double green. Farseek is great. It gets Temple Garden and Godless Shrine. Wow, that's pretty good. You probably cut Nestimator. Yeah, I would probably play it over Nestimator. And one other card to cut. Collective effort. Yeah, actually, I like that, too. All right, done. Deck is looking gas. Uh, Virtuous Gear Hulk is insane, especially when we have so many token makers. It just makes all of your guys relevant. And Little Soren, there's, little, there's no reason to cut this guy, either. Like, we just play both. It's not like you have to play one Soren or the other. Actually, this guy's great, because we don't have many ways to deal with artifacts or enchantments. Still have Frost Links in this cube. <laughs> You're not a big Frost Links fan, man? I don't know why. Like, you know, the mono blue aggro deck just isn't there, right? Let me... I'm going to look at... This is the test. I'm going to do a bit test, and you guys can see what it's supposed to look like. Cheered times 10. This is a test bit alert. Look, it's, gonna, it's Michael Scott, and it's great. And you can see the text, but instead it's not. It's not great. Hmm. I don't understand. So well, that doesn't make any sense, right? It should be this should be fine. I don't get it. Anyway. Anyway. All right. Henny's way. I like that our deck is just done. Do we play this? Do we need it? Let's find out. I'm worried because we have Read the Bones and like Obnixilis and all these cards are going to deal us damage. Let's uh, try it without first and see what it's like. Sort by Colares. All right, so green, 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 marsh, marsh, marsh. All right, cool. We have no black green lands. They're all blue green or black white. So we probably don't need any any planes. But they're going to give us four planes more than any other color anyway. Okay. Probably had one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 
We'll say yes for now. Black sources, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And both of these are black, so it's kind of nine black sources. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we have green, we have four, five, six, seven, eight. White, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, nine, eight. Seems okay. Actually, we get two more lands in this, don't we? <laughs> this is only four, five, six, seven, eight, and we have 30 cards. So we get two more cards. Definitely another one of these. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four. Oh, actually, Marsh Flats also gets green as well. We also only have four white cards, so... Two? No, we don't. No, no, no. We also have oh, yeah. Soren, Soren, a Johnny voice. Okay, we have way more. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten green sources. It's a lot. In black, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can play Confluence for the last land. Yeah, I could see that. I don't love it, but just gain hundred life. No problem is. So I think it's probably just one more forest. How does this look over here? Eleven. Actually, green is our most represented color, so I actually don't feel bad about adding one more forest. Yeah, that seems fine. All right, this deck looks sweet. Hey man, smoking marijuana cigarette in honor of you. <laughs> A jazz cigarette. And it's not even Chicken Sunday. Did you ever hear that U2 song, Chicken Sunday? No. Sunday, Chicken Sunday. Hmm. It's a good one. It's a classic. A clip of Mike B letting some bits slowly drop out of his mouth would be it. Under the carpet would be gas. Hmm. Oh, no green, but I think we're good without. I'll keep it. What happened? Come might be letting some bits slowly drop out of his... Okay, well, I don't know how we can get that. I mean, you just photoshopped me dropping the ice, except for bits. It's hard work, man. You're asking me for to have some Adobe Premiere magic here. I'm not saying you have to do it. I think Mike should dress... Oh, dang it, you son of a biscuit. I think Mike should dress up in a bee costume, definitely. <laughs> How much would you guys donate for Mike to dress up in a bee costume? Keep in mind, me and Mike will be splitting it, so... Oh, perfect. Our deck is so good. I think we just got a second green. Yeah, we just got another forest here. I would definitely dress up in a bee costume. I'm sorry, Sauron. What are you saying? I, I see five lands and uh, five mana spells. All done with some dirty diapers. Do you want Mike to wear those with his bee costume? Okay, or? that's that's not happening. <laughs> yeah, but the people really want it, man. You got to give the people what they want. Listen, man, were you the politician that proposed Chicken Sunday or weren't you? Okay, I was. I don't know what that has to do with anything that we're talking about. Well... Chicken Sunday, Michael. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to play Obnixilis and kill your Jace and then feel real comfortable about it. I'll donate one corn chip. Yeah, that'll help. Is it a kettle corn chip? Kettle, kettle, kettle corn, kettle, kettle, kettle. I hope they pack this. Please pack them to negation it. Oh, that's sad. You think they're just going to Yes, lose the, lose the game. That's exactly what I think they're going to do. Just be just to spite you? No, just because they don't know. Hmm. Oh, de a thousand desk Cheetos? If you guys have that. Just, you, so is that, to be clear, that's just Cheetos on a desk? Cheetos come from a can. They were put there by a man <laughs> in a factory downtown. I don't think any of that's true. And if I had my little way, I'd eat Cheetos every day. 
I don't know the song you're parroting. Sorry. Really? It's Peaches by the President of the United States of America. Oh, okay. Move into the country. I'm going to eat me a lot of Cheetos. Except it's Peaches instead of Cheetos. Thank you. You're welcome. Look at this gas board we got here, boy. I have two Planeswalker Supremes, please. Gas board technology. Gas board technology. All done all the food wrappers. Clearly, you guys are not taking Mike's bee costume seriously. Do you even know where we'd get like a six foot six bee costume for this guy to wear? <laughs> it probably cost us all the money we got from the donations. They're called shekels, Michael. It would cost us all the shekels. They're not, though. You are. Gonna draw two? I'm gonna draw three cards a turn thanks to my planeswalkers. I don't know if that's good. Is that good? Moving to the country, gonna touch me a lot of spaghetti. This is gonna be wow. the land. You ready? I did it in the wrong order. Oh, they just took seven from the Karn Liberated. <laughs> oh, we're having a good time, ladies and gentlemen. Like Rubbins. Yeah, that's it's something, all right. You might have a counter spell here. They probably do have a counter spell. I guess we just played this Soren. Because if they counter, we still have Murderous Cut. I don't think it matters, but. Pigeon Michael comes from a can. He was put there by a man. This is so dumb that you can have two swords on board. <laughs> <laughs> they're from different times, man. Why they're, did they just... Because <sighs> they're time travelers, Michael. It's dumb. I feel like we're doing good. Are we doing well? I don't know. How's magic work? They took seven from this car and liberated. This is a, this is my favorite draft ever so far. Hey, man, did you hear about Karn? Damn, boy! He <laughs> fits, boy! That's a thick ass! It was coming, boy. but... Damn. Doesn't matter. It's still funny. Current of Rock, I do watch Westworld, and I'm looking forward to season two coming out. It's... um, It looks... It looks... It looks hype. Is that about robots? It's all about robots, man. Oh, I see. Can I just... Can I just kill that dude? I mean, I'm no... Oh, that's rude. I feel like I can just kill that dude. As long as you pay too. You're going to go with that Soren? Oh, yeah, this is great, because now we can ob this guy. Actually, can we just kill you somehow? I don't think we can do 11. I don't think so either. I got, I got a feeling about it. Let's see what we hit. I only took two. Can we do nine? Still probably no, but yeah, we're getting closer. You can do three. Peaches come from a can. Mike B is put there by a man. In a factory down. Do we just murderous cut this guy? It's cost six. That's totally fine. Let's just keep our ob alive. His name is Abby Bobby. Abu the Bobby. Yeah, I'll just keep drawing cards. Oh my god. Oh my god. Our opponent's really he's fighting the good fight here. Four five the old four five six. Give him the old four five six. Eldrazi Titan, I don't know if we can do it, but that is our mission. I agree with you. It's possible. Where are you going? Oh, I like this. We're going to the face because that's how we need to deal with this. All right, I accept. Remember that time? What if they hit Grave Titan instead of Orzov Signet? Oof. Something. Oblivion Stone. You ready? It's going to be an Oblivion Stone. That would be good. There's several cards I don't like here. Oblivion Stone, Clever Impersonator. That is not one I'm concerned with. <laughs> that seems like such a waste. 
I think they just had no other options, so. I think when your play is that desperate, it's just time to concede. Our hand is a Johnny Karn Grave Titan Siege Rhino. Oh, they're going to play a free thing here. Okay. Yeah, this is all fun. Ooh, whirly burba derber. The old whirly burba derber. Oh, man. If only we could have hit that with this. Our deck has a lot of expensive cards, so I would not be surprised if it was a five drop. I think all the five drops in our hand. Okay, well, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, it's just comical. Kill you. You get that and scatter? Mm, I don't think so. Wow. That match was actually really close, uh, except for not at all. But otherwise, other than that though, yeah, other than that, nailed it. Uh, Throne seems good here. Really? Yes. The Age of Prince does not. Really? They had they have uh, Frost Titan. Like they had creatures though. I like Day of Judgment here. I want to get rid of their Frost Titan with just a Day of Judgment. I think that's fine. Plus they had Whirler Virtuos, Whirler Rogue, which is three dudes. I think I think Day of Judgment's fine to stay in. I think it's actually fine like this. I don't think we actually need to board anything in. You don't need to. I just think Throne might be a good option. We'll see. Peaches come from a can. Mike was put there by a man. Peaches don't even come from a can. They come from a tree. What kind of tree? peach tree wrong fake news they clearly come from the lagoon tree lagoon tree mm -hmm. you're you come from the lagoon tree <laughs> oh the old turn two charter course oh that's a aggressive i too have a turn two play my friend seeking far and wide let's go to temple garden bop 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 Did Big, Big Storm do 15 last game? We did 7 from Karn, 6 from Elspeth, and 2 from Orza. Wow, that's insane. And we drew 3 cards from that. That's good value, man. Like the like the Walmart brand. Great value. The funny thing is, though, a lot of products from great value are not such a great value. You don't think so? At least their food products. Why have not? Have you ever had their their ice cream? No, is it bad? It's not good. What about Publix brand ice cream? That's a different ball game. That's <laughs> that's Publix, boy. Publix don't Publix I, don't play around. I eat Publix too much, man. Uh no, no one can ever do that. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, the words you said in that order don't make any sense, Michael. <laughs> at a puppy sub, chicken tendy. Spicy mayo. Were they the cheap one? Was it five ninety nine still? No. Dang it. The five ninety nine sub was meatball, and they didn't even have any meatballs. So they probably ran out. Get it. I had chipotle mayo on it, and also some honey mustard. They have chipotle mayo. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's a game changer, boy. It's actually pretty spicy. That's all I ever wanted in my food. It's good. Where did this breeding pool come from? What's even going on right now? Are they blue green? Did we see any green cards? I'm so confused. I kind of like the have judgment here just to next turn play Elspeth on an empty board. Flyers are a little annoying for Elspeth. Come on, Pact Navigation. I'm waiting for someone to one time Pact Navigation a spell and then realize they don't have five mana. Spicy meatballs with spicy chipotle seems like gas. Um, I don't know if you want mayo on your oh, God. meatball sub. Mayo on your meatball parm? I don't know about that. Oh, God. The sandwich is already pretty, pretty wet.
dream about you, woman. Moving to the country, gonna eat me a lot of sneeches. Sneeches? Yeah, Those man. Those are illegal. Sneeches? Yeah. Some type of what? Moving to the Elspeth, I'm gonna make me a lot of dick dirt. I don't know if what is the descriptor I look for in a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> Can you make my sandwich a little less wet? <laughs> uh, certainly, sir. I guess uh, I could have used the term moist. I don't know if that's any better. Oh, that's not better at all. <laughs> it's almost worse. Oh, well, now we just have to exile that with Karn, unfortunately. You're really leaving us very little choice here, my friend. Moving <laughs> to the country, gonna eat me a lot of Starbelly Sneetches. <laughs> and if I had my little way, bitches every day. It's your boy. Don't you ever. He don't, is your boy. Don't you ever take my planeswalkers, buddy. I got another one in right here. She's hiding. She's a creature, but. Take, take, take my planeswalker away. The KKK took my planeswalker away. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What are you getting here? Primeval Titan. I guess four colors. I guess it's five because you got Chromatic Lantern, but... Old Chromie Bomey. Chromie Bomey. I guess we're just hoping you don't have... What What do you have? What What can you even have here? What creature is good enough to get with, get rid of Elspeth and Karn, I wonder? It's got to be just Frost Titan, right? Which I don't even think is that... I don't even know if that's good enough. Geese. That's not going to save you. The goose of St. Truth. <laughs> the goose of St. Truth. The goof is loose. Well, it... yeah, it's a little goofy. Oh, that guy too? All right. Yeah, you're just playing everything. I mean, I guess it deals four to a something. All right, let's see what you got in, in the old hand. Two in that two in the hand is worth one in the bushes or whatever Mike said. Oh, mana leak. More like mana week. Mac mac mac. That's pretty good, mana week. I like that. I like that, Michael. I really like that. Do you really? Do you like that we tap the stirring wildwood, which is a good blocker. I don't know. Yeah, I like that. I don't like that. I was a stupid play. I just feel so far ahead right now that I couldn't even contain myself. What do we do? Do we plus here? Um, we could. <laughs> Took her away, away today. I mean, uh, four four blocks pretty well. Yeah, but... so did two one ones. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, man. Next turn. Next turn. Does he have no cards in hand? I'm pretty sure we're just going to path to exile the, the angel. Send me an angel. Next Rash now. Next turn. Ratch now. Let me get that angel ratch now. Uh, the old main phrase crack my marsh flats. Don't know what to do. Don't know what to do. They're going to flip their Jace. That's what they're going to do. Look at all these one ones that we gave them to sacrifice their Garrick the Veil cursed. I'm just if their if their best creature last turn was Geist of Saint Traft, I don't know if that's uh 
I feel like that was a weird get. It was not great. You're gonna copy your chart, of course. Why not post? Why not just throw one of these guys away and copy a post combat? I guess if you have a terrible card in hand. I have three Planeswalkers out every game, and every game they're different. It's a real variety hour. Today we have Elspeth, Nissa, and Karn uh, on our Planeswalker variety hour. You got it. I bet your angel goes at Elspeth. Oh fine. we oh we get it well is it we get an emblem next turn. No. It's not gonna work the way you think it works. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hold the line. I think it's actually fine. I don't think I have to waste a path on that. Nah. She can go to three. How many tickets does it cost? Uh, 10 tickets or 100 play points. 100, 100 wizard. Shiny marbles. 100 wizard bucks. Wizard fun bucks. 100 whiz biz. Karn dictate golden. I don't know what those words mean in that order. Well, unfortunately... We only have three Planeswalkers left, which is the same amount we started with. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's sad. You gonna play something here? What do you got here? What do you got? What's it gonna be? Frosty? Molly, big moles. These are good cards. <clears throat> See, I'm glad we didn't take the Immortal Sun, because... Uh, it wouldn't be good. You can imagine how it gets a little awkward. Um, does it matter? I'm just got a forest. I'm pretty sure we just kill this mole drifter. Oh, you don't get to keep these cards. That's not how this works. Oh, you think these are... Oh, you think once you draft these, you get to keep them. Ooh, no, sir. No, sir. That would be real good value. Oh, my God. That would be insane, dude. <laughs> that would just be like Magic Online Instant Collection. I guess we could have waited until we untapped to see what we drew. I don't think the mana was that vital for us it's kind of murderous cut oh that would have been a good oh that's just great news <laughs> keep on revealing The king, king, king took Mark's baby away. He took him away, away today. Who are we killing here? Jace, or probably Garrick. Garrick can actually two year for things. Jace just sits there and gives one dude negative negative two. Still nothing. Unbelievable. Dang. Late nights with the sarcast sarcastatron. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. I don't know why it's not working, but sometimes magic really uh, just lets you down. Bad things happen to good people. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. Hey, I don't know if you play any standard, but if you do, could you recommend a deck to... I have no idea. Uh, it's also super awkward because Dominaria comes out in like four days, so it's really hard to recommend any standard decks, and I, you should probably just wait until until six days from now. What would be exile here? Looter Ilkor. Okay. It's actually a good question. I wonder how much 
cube draft would cost if, if you get to keep that. the cards. Oh my god, dude! Hundred bucks, <laughs> probably like probably like one hundred and fifty bucks. And everyone would be struggling to draft like Karn Liberated over cards like Throwing Wildwood. You're like, oh, Sakura Tribelder. I gotta get the. Sorry, I gotta get my my Elspeth instead. Do you guys? Are we ahead? I can't tell if we're ahead here. Yeah, 150 would be a steal, right? I agree with you. Oh, you got your own Sorin, huh? Okay. Mm, okay. That can deal damage to Planeswalkers, right? Funny joke! I don't get it. That wasn't a funny joke. Why did he do that? It wasn't funny at all. Yeah, he kills Elspeth. No, that's real good. I mean, we kill him, right? We, we get to Avenger. Do you know this draws you two cards a turn and it gets to shoot things? Just just shoots them? Did you know that? I had no idea. I know, right? It's so weird. So we can go three and three. It seems actually we can go three and three and activate Throwing Wildwood and, and kill both of their planeswalkers. And take away the last card in their hand. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think we've got it. I don't know. Our deck is just mono bombs, dude. I guess we could just exile Soren too. That's easy uh, as well. But I, we we got it under control. Oh, a tidings. Okay. Mm, okay. So we have six attackers. We go. Four at Jace, three at Soren. Yeah, it seems good, right? Seems decent. So, Soren, 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 Jace, 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 and Jace. Soren, Jace, 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 Soren, Soren. Sure. I guess we just play Obnixilis here. I don't know. This is a real, uh, he's already dead moment. <laughs> okay. Dead. Okay. Um, at no point did those games feel close. No, not really. I feel I almost feel bad for my opponent there. Hey man, this is a competitive event. If this was a Hearthstone match, my opponent would have added me as a friend just so they can break me. Do people do that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this hand looks pretty okay. It's not the best hand, but it'll do. It'll do, pig. It wouldn't even look like we have white mana. I hope we draw a planes into a siege rhino. Hi, <laughs> <I> Twitch. <laughs> it's funny. I actually don't play Magic Online when I'm not streaming, so. Why would you? Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Hi. I know he took you out like twice, dude. Oh, yeah. You even gotta be like that. I mean, it has been a little while, but like five o'clock. It was later than that, I think. <sighs> Close. Where were you last turn, though? Come on. Come on. Come on. How about a Nissa? I'll take a Nissa so I can play Stirring Wildwood. All right, well, you're halfway there. Living on a prayer. Take my hand. Make it, I swear. Living on a prayer. I'm okay, Dad. Look at that guy. Look how beautiful. 
Oh, second black. Come on. All I want to do is play Ob and kill this guy when they have no mana up. Yeah. Whatever. So we'll just pay five mana like a chump. God, we quit out a Planeswalker on board. Holidays. It feels so nice. Guess we won't be gaining 100 life. That's really sad. You know why? Because I like gaining 100 life. Do you like it a lot? I do. I would cycle that. Really? I was just going to play it because we can play you snapping in next turn. Oh, sure. I don't want to be waiting for I don't want to hope we get another land. I just want a black source. Well, you can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, Michael. You just might find. You get what you need. Hmm. They only have three cards, and I I feel like our three cards are probably better. All right, that's a good one. But just give me a green so I can Grave Titan here just once. Or black, rather. Actually... That also works. Hmm. It's got to be Shonda, right? Yeah. Hmm. Boop. That shot out one whole point of damage. I mean, I guess we could have played staff there, but like if they have a counter spell, it's really bad. Well, they were pretty much close to tapped out. I don't think they have a counter spell. I don't think they have anything right now, to be honest with you. Well, then it's clearly slime the ob. Oh, no, because I don't want to take three from this guy, especially when we're taking two from this. I think we're... Oh, the ob. I thought you said Grave Titan for some reason. Ha, 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 Funny joke. Funny joke. And... Obby. Seems good. I'm satisfied with this position that we're in. That's the bad Chandra should have played. Stuff. I'm just not comfortable with her ultimating in, in, in two turns. And we're already at 11 and she deals 10. So she was at 7. She ultimates at 8. Like, I'd rather just get her off the board when we can. Oh, Maelstrom Pulse. That's pretty good. Certainly not bad. I mean, I do like being able to untap go Staff of Nin and kill this immediately. So that's pretty good. And we get a Staff on board, so. Can you just use the mana in my pool? Why do you have to be like this? All right, now we get to recover. Two cards a turn. Missed your chance to do a favorite thing and draw a card. That is true. But however, playing a... Uh... No, I guess we didn't draw a card in any way, shape, or form there. Hmm. Not, not so much of a funny joke, unfortunately. It's G-Dad time. It's your G-Dad. Oh, no. Don't be mad, like I'll feel so dumb. Oh, my God. I feel so Gross. dumb right now. I feel so dumb. Well, that was my own fault. I didn't want to have no cards in hand because I felt like they would play differently if I did. That was terrible. I have no one to blame but myself, but I have two cards per turn to help me get out of this mess that I've dug for myself. I feel bad. I like how Mike thinks everyone is his dad. Must have been a confused child. And everyone knows about G-Dad. Do they? Yeah. Who else is your dad? Tell me Tell me more about your dads, Michael. No, just G-Dad. He's everyone's dad. He's the grave dad. He's not my dad, Michael. He is too. Wow, Collective Defiance? What do they do? Ship their hand of two mountains and uh, deal me four? Okay. Okay. It's an 8-8. Eight, eight.
Actually, what if we do one of these jobbies? I don't think we have a fan, do we? No, we oh, do. yeah, it gets five. Yeah, okay, we do. <clears throat> So many counter spells. I mean, they have one card in hand, so whatever. I was just actually, by doing that, I was trying to play around something like Sower of Temptation. Um, because if they have a Sower and they just take our 8 8 Virtuous Gear Hulk, we actually have no way to deal with that, so. Well, they have one card in hand. I mean, they're going to shoot it at us, but we can actually just kill the other one, too. And then we have Stirring Wild with the block, and we also draw two cards, so. Yep. God, that Grave Titan is still killing me. We could have just won this game, I imagine. Elspeth. Solemn Simulacrum. Might be dead to uh, to P and Kieran Alar awkwardly enough. Like we've just drawn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can 11. sacrifice any artifact? Yeah, second sack there isn't signal post to four, but they do have one card in hand. So okay, that's that's really good. Yep, that's really good. Do we read the bones? I think we can read the bones here. Do we need to, though? Um. I mean, seven's still pretty safe, actually. Yeah, if they didn't have it for... If they didn't have us on six, I don't think they have us on seven. Yeah, that's pretty good. Bottom you, top you. <laughs> the old double Soren. Soren and doo, -doo. Gonna need a black man. I'm not good at tapping my lands. Gonna need a white man. I literally added none of the colors that we need. Did good. I don't. I don't think that's true. I also like the life link here. That feels pretty good. With that double vision. Yeah, I feel like if we untap and do burm, that burm, one, burm, 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 my eyes. Double, double, double vision. What did you say to me? I was too busy singing double vision. Activate Soren once and we win. It's also pretty good. What do you mean, for the emblem? Or this guy? For the lifelink part. Doesn't that Soren have lifelink at some point? What? This one? Yeah. Does the Soren have lifelink? Oh, no, the token does. Okay. Do you have, how, how would the Soren have lifelink? I don't know. I don't even understand how that works. I think we just make an emblem here. I don't want to get greedy. I don't know what they have. It doesn't seem that greedy. Oh, we get to draw another card? My god. And we go to nine here? Oh my god. Here we go again, man. <laughs> Come on, something that costs you dad. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Oh, Planeswalkers are so good, man. 
So what did we see? We saw P and Kieran Alar. We saw Snapcaster and Dual and Red and Red Dude, Red Man. Red Man and Method Man. Red, we saw Red Man and Method Man. Um, I don't think there's really anything to bring in. I was thinking Wicker. Oh, actually, Thrun could be good. Yeah, it's decent. It can't be countered. I, I think we could probably cut Day in this matchup. Yeah, they didn't have any like big threats. Yeah, we only saw Dirtles. Dirtle turtles. Mono turtles. I also wouldn't mind this guy because you did see a signet, and I guess that's all. That was it though? Yeah, all right. Whew. boy, oh boy, huh? Oof, this is hands ugly. This hand is much better. Wow. <laughs> Keep you. Voice of resurgence seems very good here. Hey man, I did my taxes. So did I. How, how did yours go? You want to guess how much I got back? Tell me. $21. <laughs> I got 800 back. I was surprised. Well, good for you. <laughs> I don't know how I got back $21, but I did it twice just to be sure. Is that good or that's bad, right? It's horrible. Okay, I was just checking. I didn't know your barometer. I mean, I guess when I signed up for my job, I did my taxes wrong, so I like they didn't take enough away from my check. That's the only thing I can think of. Oh, we can just path that dude. Mike's job didn't take enough Got of his thing. Got almost over 2,500. Oof. Dang. Yeah, I actually owe usually because I'm an independent contractor. Um, but for some reason, because I had uh, health insurance from... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the taxes work, so I'm just going to... Do I just kill this guy or do I play this on... Their... No, I don't want the... I don't want to give them the... I like playing this on their turn to give them the chance to counter it, but I also don't like them countering it. So let's just kill it. I don't like giving them a land either, but what are you going to do? I feel like the voice of resurgence Thrun is, is pretty good against the... Um... Cheshire probably got 15,000. Wow, that's that seems unrealistic. How is that even possible? <laughs> I actually got 76,000, so you guys are all falling behind. If you get back 15,000, I feel like you're in a bracket where you shouldn't get money back. But what do I know? Not much is really the point. JK, haven't done them yet. That's what wow. I was thinking, yeah. I was like, I don't know about that, man. Oh, you got a little Chandra. You're going to two my, you're gonna two my, two my guy? You two my guy. We could actually just activate Wildwood and attack here, just to get rid of her. Just to get rid of her. Is that better than just playing Obnixilus here? Yeah, I know it probably not, right? They have one mana. I think we just resolve this. She can only deal one to Obnixilus, so. Also, next turn we play both these guys. We got three, three. Kid Cabbage. We are currently one zero, and we were up a game in round two. So, oh, they just killed their guy. All right, seems legit. Search for Escanta. Huh? Could Wildwood. I do kind of like that because we all we also got two. Uh, we haven't seen any four damage spells from him, so in theory it should be good. Let's see what land we're getting first. It's probably just Temple Garden. Yeah, we'll take two because we're gonna take one from Brushland anyway. Can we do this in such a way where we don't take damage? Yes, we can. We can go green, white, colorless. I 
Also, this is an X4, so it has to be a 4 damage spell that's an instant. Which we've seen zero of. So. Yeah. Did we play Grove this? Did we play Land this turn? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it seems fine. And then I have three cards in hand. And then we have an Obnixilus on board, so... Oh, Phantasmal Bear in the main deck. I don't think you boarded that guy in. That would be really weird. I have two cards in hand? Oh, boy. I think our game just ended. So green, 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 green. Black, black, black. White, 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 white. Uh, I actually want another green just because we have a Thrun in hand. Go 12. Hope you can't burn us out, I guess. Two cards? I don't think so. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And yeah, we'll cycle Grove here. Hey, man, you never know. They could have Banefire and Bonfire off the top here. You ready? I'm waiting for it. So four, five, six, seven. Bonfire for seven. All right, didn't happen. Or did it? He didn't keep a Snapcaster? Vance is blasting cannons. Well, they don't have anything in the graveyard. They have Phantasmal Bear and Chandra. Like, yeah, but that seems like a pretty good card. Don't we just get the ultimate Obnixilus here? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not I'm not an expert. Wait, what is this? Oh, actually, we can just cycle this on our turn because Obnixilus is an ultimate, so... Do it. Yeah, sure. Enjoy your emblem. In hell. <laughs> I'm going to draw a card. Siege Rhino? Seems good. So what if, let's say they have one, two, three, one, two, we can play a land. Keep up. Mana Leak and Rune Snag and everything else mana. All right. I think this game's over. I have a good feeling about it. None of these games have been even cl remotely close. This might be my new favorite archetype. It's basically just a blue deck that plays big idiots. It's a blue deck that plays big idiots. Goblin or Rabble Master? Is that what you revealed with Blasting? Blasting Men? It's Blasting Men. Hallelujah. I'm going to kill this now. Well, actually, if you really need to. You have four mana, you can deal us four. Yeah, I don't care about that, actually. Also, they could just have Counterspell as one of their cards, so. It's Rebel Master? That seems fine. We do only get to draw one card per turn now, which is not as good. I will block with my Rhinoceros. <laughs> oh, that'll do. All right. <laughs> good games. Good games. Oh, boy. These matches have not been close. Well, 2-0-2-0 two, two, oh, is pretty good. Absolute. And, but, like, the games weren't even like... I wasn't even like, oh, I hope we can recover here. It's always been like, all right, we have three Planeswalkers. You have a Signet. I guess pass. Your, your turn. You know what I'm saying? Your turn. Do you, know, you know what I'm saying? No. I asked you a question. Never mind. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I hereby declare a friend divorce. <laughs> I'll never pay up. Oh, you'll pay up. Or you'll be dead. Or my dead body. That's right. That's exactly <laughs> what I said. That's correct. So this deck is like Abzan and Blue decks from KTK Standard? Yeah, kind of. Well, except for no blue. But yeah, otherwise, exactly the same. So it's like Abzan decks. What was the blue for? What, they, what were they splashing blue for? Um, Santa's great. I don't remember. Depending on the land they play. Oh, all right. We're probably just going to go soaring on turn three. Oh, the heaviest of breathings. Turn turn four, turn five. Oh, didn't they play um the Delve guy? Banana Keeper? Banana Keeper? Yeah. 
to like the most relevant Delve guy? Tassiger? Yeah. I don't what think they played play blue? blue for No, it was for Jace Vern's Prodigy. That's what it was. Yeah, that card was good. We could have played uh, Signet here to play Soren on turn three, but if they're like the aggressive white deck, I really don't want them to start making their guys bigger with Abs and Offenza. Or at least attacking into me with their bigger guys. Our opponent's name is Fresh Frozen Michael. Fresh Frozen. Yeah, it's Fresh Frozen. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. It's, uh, it's pretty funny. Yeah, A's. I'll just take through here. So we have Obnixilus next turn, followed by Soren Grim Nemesis the turn after that. That's pretty okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll probably just uh, probably just block that. I think. The flying guy. No, no, no. The whatever they attack with, because it's gonna be like six damage or something ridiculous. Can we just draw Day of Judgment? Oh my God, that would be so good. It'd be real good. It would be like the best draw in the history of Magic the Gathering online. I was really hoping. Or Farseek. I was like, one time. Well, we can ob here to kill the exalted thing. Please get your creature out of my board. It's not your board. I'll respond with Micaeus. What? Oh, you put a counter on Micaeus. Okay. Okay. Beskuse me? No one's beskusing you right now. I'll beskuse myself. By settle the score, do you mean settle the wreckage? Because those are two different cards. You think with your $15,000 $15, tax return, you'd be able to remember the two cards, Cheshire Pratt. Oh, both at him? All right, no blocks, because he's dead. That's pretty good. <sighs> Hope you don't have a counter spell. They do. They always do. God, they always friggin' do. It's unbelievable. <laughs> oh, God, I guess. That would have been so good. It would have been real good. Could have also played Soren, made a guy, and then we just had block blocks. Oh, look who it is. Staff of my ninny nin nin. All right. Well, I think we're dead this game. This game was not as close, so... I like that you looked up Settle the Score. Like, that's not a card. I'm telling you it's not a card. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but think of all the scores that have been settled by it. No, still not a card. Oh, the new card? Oh, come on. That doesn't count. Nobody knows that card. Well, don't I look sheepish now? I actually just went over that card today in our black set review. However, what I did that card do. Uh, it's it's uh, exile target. It's four mana. It's an uncommon. Exile a creature, and then you can put two up to two loyalty counters on a planeswalker. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Seems pretty good. I don't know if it's better than Vraska's Contempt, but uh, it's not tapped creature, right? It's I'm pretty sure it's any, any creature, but I could be wrong because I was just wrong about settle the score existing. Yeah, it's just exile a creature. We're at six life. That's not good. Oh, how cute. All right. Well, that's the end. All right. So let's try not to have that happen again. I agree. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of that.
I wish I could be more Day of Judgment Spring. Uh, no, I don't think so. Damn. I do like Wicker Bow Elder here, though, just because they do have Staff of Nin. So that's good enough for me to get rid of. Because they probably got a sword in there, too, somewhere. That's my guess. <laughs> they probably do. You're right. So like them. I'll just Ooh, go 41. Cut. All right. Nothing. I'll go 41. Bwah. Bwah. Yeah, there's a two-mana kill spell. I think it's... Uh, I'm not sure if it's instant or sorcery. Um, it's the one that kills... non legendary Yeah, it's a non legendary creature. It's really good. It's not very good when you're playing the set, though. Or when you're playing against the God. <laughs> True. That wouldn't work anyway, because he would just come back. Yeah. So that's why it's not good. I just said that. This hand seems great. I will keep it. Ideally, my opponent will go mulling the three. And we'll have a friendly game after that. No? Fair is fair. Yeah, there's nothing fair about that, actually. Let's draw a four mana card. We have a lot of four mana cards, so I'm, I'm actually... pretty. There we go. See, that's what I'm talking about. This is Little Snake Man. Little snake man. Living his little snake life. I know you guys come for the magic, but you stay for the singing. It's so obvious. We could also trade here. I don't think that's good, though. Because the, the Soren tokens also trade. Oh, true. So I'd rather just play Soren, get him out, and start making... Let the bodies hit the floor. I still don't understand why you guys call him Steve. It's really weird to me. There's no V-E in his name. <laughs> it's not even a thing. Yeah, the tribe elder. It's Sakura tribe elder. It's S-T-E and then they just add E-V or V-E at the end. It's really weird. Why well, I just call him Steve? Why you gotta add the V-E? I don't know. Or just call him, just call him Tribe or something. Oh, I see. I see what you're doing here. Come on. Come at me. I dare you. Oh, this guy, huh? I'll block. Oh, I'll, I'll make you take four and gain one. Give me two mana spell. That's not it. Why would you do that? Oh my god, I'm terrible. I'm actually the worst Magic player that's ever played Magic the Gathering. Oh my god. Why? Because <sighs> if we killed the Thalia first and then made the token, then would it come in and play tapped and we'd have a blocker? Oh. Oh, that's so bad, dude. Gotcha. In my head it was correct, and then we just played it. We just sequenced it completely wrong. Oh god. Yeah, that was so bad. So bad. What would you like to get countered? I mean, obviously Grave Titan. <laughs> sure. I mean, we have no guarantee that Elspeth's going to actually do anything in this game. They could just actually counter both our... I mean, could have re read the bones there. We obviously, they obviously have a counter spell. We just can't throw an Elspeth away now. Oh my god, dude. I just can't believe I threw that... I cannot believe I just threw that Soren away. Luckily, Grave Titan's really the worst thing it could have gotten from us. Yeah, we actually don't have that many good creatures, so I guess they'll probably get Virtuous Gear Hulk. Wow, so that's like actually Rhino. I would, you know, it's Virtuous Gear Hulk, 100%. Can you imagine Virtuous Gear Hulk on these guys? Actually, that would actually Elspeth's pretty good if they if they put the counters right. Yep, had a feel. Step one complete. Put two on here and three on here. Do it correct. 
Oh, 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 you can't put two and three, but it's just still close enough because it kills both. Elspeth kills both of these guys, and we have a blocker for this guy. All right. We're going to take a lot here, but we take nine, but I think I'm still okay with it. Pack navigation. The recovery. All right, let's see if we can... I mean, our hand is very good. We can read the bones and Nissa and flip Nissa in the same turn while making a 4-4. Four, four. Or 4-5? Four, 4-4. Four, 4-4. Four. Four, four. That's what I said. Didn't you hear me? That's annoying. God, they always seem to have it, don't they? It's real good. Yep. I mean, this is still pretty good. <sighs> so she goes to two. She goes to one. I think we're just having a reveal here. Nope. This guy's really obnoxious, though. Yep. So if we can hit a path, I think we're good. If we can hit... I have two cards in hand. God, the Staff of Nin's so good, dude. I will definitely trade here because this just draws us another card, and they have to take four to do this. Kitty Cat Man. Yep, that's Some pretty good. Staff. Really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> God, that must feel good to be this... To be this blessed. Hashtag. So, yeah, this is fine. Wow, that was amazing. Never didn't have it is right. Like, they literally two cards had to be Adorn Pouncer and, like, that's amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. You die. We take two. I think Whisperwood's actually pretty good here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's sort of two away from actually playing both, but. <sighs> Man. So stupid. That Soren changed the entire game. You too? I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, I have no idea what that means. Uh, it's actually pretty good. It's decent. I mean, it still doesn't solve our problem. Uh, I mean, it exiles... It can exile this dude. guy, yeah. but then we still take 2-3. And they have to draw two cards. And like then we're just dead to Staff of Nin on tap. True. Otherwise, we could... I 
And this just gets us two dudes. Exile the staff and we die. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it just takes seven. I meant the staff? I don't know what that means. I have no idea what's going on right now. Yeah, hey, that's pretty good. It's actually not bad. All right, one's a land. Yeah, I mean, that's why it's actually not terrible. Oh, we revealed it. Okay, I see. I see what's going on. They're not ghosting. It's just this. What was this revealed from? I don't know. I don't know either. So just this guy, huh? Oh, from Nissa. Sure, 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 sure. All right, we're not dead, surprisingly. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So we just got to play Karn here. Get rid of the angel. Yeah. Yep, we are at three life, so we go down to two. But we have three blockers, so. no cards they have no cards in hand i think we're still dead like we just they have a lot of things that are happening right now i really want to i have to exile this guy because it can't be destroyed i have to exile this guy because it comes back i have to exile this because it'll kill us slowly this is the priority obviously god i can't believe that sword play it was so bad oh sitting in a train <laughs> oh no worries sometimes you sit in a train what are you gonna do Sitting in a train. Come on, something good. We don't actually have that many creatures, which is the funny part. That's actually fine. I don't want to draw that, so. In theory, if our Karn lives, we get to exile the staff. Yeah. Which is a pretty good, pretty good deal. Can you just draw two just draw two lands. Just draw two lands in a row. Oh, no attacks is great for us. It's about as good as it gets. That is not a thing I care about at the moment. Okay, I think you just drew two creatures, and I don't actually care about that with staff and solemn in play. Unless it's like Angel of Sanctions or something. So you have nine mana. It's a seven mana card. Oh, God. Oh, just Micaeus. Just a big old Micaeus. That's annoying, but I don't think it's... I don't think it's kill us level. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea I mean, what's going on. kill us eventually. Yep. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can actually play both of these, which is we can play both, both of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
four. Or do we play this first to try to hit something? I think we want the counters. We get five guys, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, forest. Also, 100 life incoming. Can, we, can you imagine if we actually gain 100 life this game? That would be good. Um, this is a... I'm going to put one on you. You're going to be sacrificial. You're gonna just going to block here, but you're five. You're going to be a six, but if something dies, I don't know if that's great. Actually, I'll put two on you. Right? Okay, so I don't know. We're going to have to block everything, but we get another guy. So this guy's going to be a 7-7. Seven, seven. We can block Micaeus, block you, block, block, he just dies. I think that's actually fine. The other guys I don't actually... Maybe I should have put the double counters on this guy. I don't know. This guy's not going to be a 7-7, seven, seven, though. He's just going to be small. Small. He's a small boy. See what see what our manifesto is. Oh, very signal. All right, all these cards I don't want to draw, so that's good. So they have to deal three damage to Karn in order to prevent us from activating. getting rid of that yeah. staff of Ninny. That staff is he drew a land. You know that. Pinging us. I don't know. I'm terrified. Oh, we just oh. win the game. Wow. Well, <laughs> surprising. I did not see that coming. I mean, I guess we get rid of his staff, but I don't know if that was a concede time. I don't either, actually. Wow, that was crazy. I think that was a bit of a preemptive concession. Yeah, I think so. And we messed up big time there. Can we get his board was one like, game? His board would beat ours out eventually. Does Thrun just come in? Thrun seems really good against them. Against the random dirtlers, yeah. Against what? Against random. yeah, just random dirtlers, but like they also have like oblivion ring and yeah. But the redirect doesn't even do anything, so I don't know why you. Yeah, that wouldn't matter. Like that doesn't do anything. I mean, if they if they hit a Johnny, a Johnny goes to four. If they hit Carney, goes to five, and we still have five creatures that are four creatures. So like, it just doesn't. The redirect doesn't do anything. Whew. Still alive. Still in it. What are we cutting here? <laughs> Put in disallow. <laughs> Hey, you're looking especially handsome tonight. He's not anymore. It just changed. Does it because it had the creepy face? That's exactly why. You, mm. you, you know you know what you did. What are we cutting here? Read the bones? Read the bones is good, though. I honestly don't hate Nest Invader either. I like early creatures here. You cut the four drop, Storm. That guy's good, though. That just makes one ones. That just makes blockers for days and gains us life. Cut this to Johnny, maybe? Sure. God, it's our only chance to... I'm almost tempted to cut the the Gear Hulk and the Grave Titan. To get out of bribery? Yeah. Or... I'm going to do that. I don't think we need them to win. Okay. I'm going to. I'm not going to stream the pre-release for the new set. Unfortunately, I will be in Arkansas. Actually, I will be visiting a store for uh, some spell slinging and some good times. This hand is actually fine. We'll get a godless shrine with this guy. They might have also been worried about connection problems, like they're four minutes behind. I don't think that's a big deal, though. It feels weird taking Grave Titan out, but if they can, if they go bribery and like we just don't. No, we brought we brought the uh, we brought the uh, Johnny back in. 100 dream light, 100 life dream still gone. It is back. <laughs> Nero's catching up. You got it. Don't play one drop. Thank you. Oh, wow. All right. 
Our mana has been fixed. Hooray. It was what was broken is now fixed. Whereabouts are you gonna be in Arkansas? Um it's a store it's uh it's my friend Brian who also uh he's known as the game store online, if you guys have seen him in stream. Well dang it. That's awkward. Well Snoogums. Still got a far seek here. Let's get the Shrine of the Godless. Are they going to mana tie this? That would be so miserable. Kind of. It'd be pretty bad. Not really. We haven't seen it in three games, in two games, so. Prepare to be seen. Anyway, the game store online, he's, uh, he's near, he, I think he's like close to Little Rock. Maybe like 25, 30 minutes away, somewhere like that. I don't know exactly. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Is our 3 0 dream still alive? We don't like it. Our hand seems great against them. I mean, we asked them for them to send us an angel, and we got a, a concession. That was pretty much an angel. That was a, that's an angel if I ever seen one. And I have seen one in the form of concession. Actually, um, he actually asked if I wanted to do like a box opening there while I was there, like open some packs. So I might do that. Uh, I just got to figure out how to get my laptop set up for it. And I think he would actually, like you, you joke, but he actually wouldn't mind me streaming from the store. Uh, he would actually probably 100% encourage me to do it. So... And I would probably be 100% okay doing it because the set looks sweet and I get wanted, I can play as much Dominaria as I can get my hands on, so. We just run out the run here, right? He has no counter spells. Not that that would matter anyway. Can't ob next turn, but... Oh, well, I guess we could hit Black Land. You got some swamps in there. Your mom's got some swamps in there. Oh, really? Wow, science. Scientists accidentally create mutant, mut mutant enzyme that eats plastic bottles. Wow. Oh, that's a pretty good accident. It's a good accident until it destroys the world. Someone said, I, definitely, I can definitely see this destroying the world. Yeah, I'm like, well, once it goes too far. Has science gone too far? Depends on if it becomes like a monster that eats other things other than plastic. Well, yeah, once it becomes sentient. Also, they don't have any blue man. I don't know if you noticed this. That's four planes. Mm -hmm. How did we get so lucky? Blessed. Hashtag. Pretty, 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 pretty good. So we can play Signet into Solemn Simulacrum, or we can play Solemn Simulacrum and String Wildwood. I think it's actually Signet and Solemn Simulacrum. How do you feel about that? Okay. Also going to attack here. Nothing is made out of plastic except bottles, right? Yeah, it's just bottles. That's all. I'm sure this enzyme can't affect anything else in the world. Like, literally everything else. Also, in case you guys didn't know, I did start a Patreon. It is uh, patreon.com slash franklapore. So if you guys are interested, go check it out. I got some rewards on there. It's just another way to support the stream or the content if you guys are enjoying it. Uh, and maybe, like, I know a lot of people sometimes fight. You can't afford five bucks a month. So I have different tiers. So you can check that out and uh, let me know what you think. And, uh, you know, do the, do, the, do the Patreon thing, I guess. I don't know. And I will be adding content to the Patreon itself as well. So. Yeah, what tier do I get spliffs? Uh, you get spliffs. That's the marijuana cigarette tier. Also known as the jazz cigarette tier. <laughs> oh, the, the Frozen Fresh Michael has disconnected. The train was too much. Wish I could have been doing it for my rent in my class. Not that anyone would pay, but it would make me feel better. 
I think you think it makes you feel better. Thank you. Magic banding. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the salt time brood. I think you think it makes you feel better. Um, up until the point where they don't actually pay you. And then you just feel sad. Get V. I, I have loved you since the day we first, since the day we were getting V or die and trying. What is the tier where we get the B costume one-on-one -on -one Skype chat? Um, <laughs> that's going to be, I think that's a, that's, that's the 10 cent tier. So for 10 cents a month, uh, which I collect all of Mike will one-on-one -on -one Skype you in a B costume. I did not agree to this. Yeah, Send help. <laughs> but, um, you did, you did it in spirit, I think. I have the stream muted, but if you read this, Mike, wink eight times super fast. <laughs> Okay, that's funny. My apartment is $200 less because my landlord? I don't think that's a sentence, right? Mike, peanut butter and jelly time. Can't argue with that. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly. 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 I could just keep going. Don't even try to stop me. I wouldn't dare. I'd kill you. Okay, that's a little extreme. I don't care. Clearly. Well, it looks like we're going to win this, this match on the unfun way. Yeah, I was actually hoping for a good game. But anyway, you guys get to listen to us uh, chat about Snoogans. Oh, God, I love a good Snoogan, if you know what I'm saying. Ooh, my federal my federal tax return was accepted by the IRS. Good, good times. That's good important. Times. Mine got accepted, like, instantly. I think it was because it was $21. They're like, yeah, man, don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> you know what? You don't have to submit this. Like, you're just wasting everybody's time. It's going to cost us more to mail you the $21, so if you could come pick it up, that'd be great. <laughs> They're like, we don't even... You know what? Why are you even wasting your time? Would Mike be singing No Rain in the B costume? I don't know what No Rain is. Uh, no, it's a Blind Melon song. You don't know Blind Melon? You're going to know it as soon as I play it. Probably. Oh, sure. All right, that's about as much as you can play. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, otherwise we get no, de demonetization and root. I think they've died. How about chocolate rain? Hmm. Chocolate rain. Some stay blind while others feel... Some say dry. Dry while others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. What you know about that chocolate rain? Um, Nothing. It tastes real good. That's doo-doo, baby. <laughs> Is it now? You know that Dave Chappelle skit where he's like, what's all that chocolate on your, fit, on your lips? I know. It's with uh, old... What's the name of that character? Um, uh, crackhead. What's his name? Tyrone Biggums. That's it. Yeah. Chocolate. That's doo-doo, baby. He's got to go. Wish me luck. I'm getting surgery to fix my thumb in two days. I cut it off by accident. No fun. Aquajern, good luck, buddy. Uh, I do not envy your thumbless uh, existence. I hope your thumb grows back so you're not a dog. Otherwise, you're basically just Is that dog. all it takes to be a dog? Yeah, is one less no thumb? no thumbs. But he has one thumb. All right, half a dog. You're <laughs> you're half the dog you used to be. I was gonna. Oh God, I was gonna say that. I'm half the dog I used to be. Feelings are gonna fade today. This Thrun was all excited. He was like, "Hey, get off my lawn!" And then my opponent's like, "I'm out. I don't even have a lawn. I can't handle it." I don't think they're coming back, guys. It is 12.51. They have five minutes to come back or else they get a loss. But they also only have three minutes and 25 seconds to come back. Would y'all ever play the Boggles deck? Um, I've played Boggles before. It's not a deck I really enjoy playing. 
Are the doctors moving your big toe to where the thumb used to be? Yes, please. Tell me that. Tell me that's what's happening. I'm no doctor, but that's what I would recommend. So not five minutes. Correct. Music Manly. Correct. Uh, decidedly less than five minutes. That is correct. Oh, boy. Well, we had a good run. I mean, we did because we kind of won this draft. Yeah, we. This is this is six zero for me today. This is I'm six zero in drafts. I mean, today. even if our opponent came back, it looks like he's stuck on blue mana. So. And they have to win the game in two minutes and thirty three seconds, and we have a our hand is pretty stacked. So, could you imagine how big you could you could thumbs up someone if it was your toe? <laughs> Isn't your toe shorter than your thumb? Yeah, but it's all thick. It's a thick. Damn, boy, he's thick, boy. That's a thick ass boy. Oh my god. Oh god. If you guys are on YouTube right now, the best clip. You should know that that's Anthony Fantano. What would Anthony Fantano do if he was here right now? He make a plan and he follow through. That's what Anthony Fantano would do. Like isn't it past your bedtime? Maybe. I love Boggles well, the saltiness that comes out when I play Boggles. Wow. Let the saltiness flow through you. Show us the difference on stream. What's the difference? What do you ask? The difference of what? Someone has to be at that tier. What do you say right now? Thumb wave <laughs> and toe wave. <laughs> I'm not gonna wave with my toe, buddy. I'm sorry. All right, they got a minute and 18 seconds. I think we. I think we won. It's gonna be a close race. Oh wait, no, it's not. Both teams played hard. I'm half the mic I used to be. The toe showing tear. Mike, you do the toe, I'll do the thumb. That's going to be hard to do. What's a thumb wave anyway? What did Matthew Orr even say? Can you imagine how big you're, you could thumbs up? Oh, thumbs up someone. All right. I was like, did he say thumb wave? Is that what we're talking about? All right. 26 seconds. And then we get to just go on with our lives. Thank you in advance. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Head on over to twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. Head on over to youtube.com slash Frank Lepore. That's what you're on right now. Head on over to patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. And uh, show me some support if you want to. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Have a good night. And uh, I'll see you guys once this match ends in one second. Is he still? I don't know. Is he still there? I don't know. Mm -hmm. What if it was us that timed out the whole time? Dun, dun, dun. Wow, this is taking a while. I don't want to end it until we actually win. So you guys, you're going to wait this whole time. They they probably scrolled. They probably just, they probably scrolled past this whole part until the very end of the match. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.